Hello everyone, it's me Zach here, welcome back to uh, another live stream on YouTube. So, uh, welcome, I'm, I've got the starting soon because I am currently just trying to set up the scenario that we'll be doing for today's live stream. So, I hope everyone is doing okay today, and uh, yeah, sorry about the creepy music. <laughs> so, how is everyone? See everyone in the chat. Um, yeah, I think LaserJet did the rw tools installment but if not i'm sure there is some sort of video but if you'd like me to do it oliver gilson i will of course uh have a look on how to do it Uh, for now, I'm going to keep a little bit of music on so we can just, so I can currently get this scenario in uh, in game ready. So, sort of background music ready. Wow, we uh, we have nine people watching our uh, stream today. So, um, I think I'm going to try and get cracking on pretty quickly. Let's see who we've got in the chat today. Also, if this is the first live stream uh, you've catched me live on, please do press that subscribe button, also click the notification bell, and also do click that like button so I know you guys enjoy the content I'm currently bringing out for this YouTube channel. Four likes on the on the stream. That's cool. Uh, so let's get rid of the music now. That's kind of annoying. Uh, okay, so um, yeah, welcome back to another stream. I hope your week has gone very well, and hope the weekend's been um, cracking for everyone, as in really good. So yeah, um, so it's been a while since I've done any live streams or videos. Uh, hopefully this week I will post a video that will say what I'm doing for sort of this part of the year where I'll be going for the spring, summer and a little bit of autumn uh, for the plan of what I'm going to be doing for gala wise or um, real life videos which will come out very soon. I just need to kind of get things kind of set up for that. So, oh, uh, how am I doing? Uh, yes, I'm very well, thank you, mate. Uh, thank you very much everyone for, again, 155 subscribers. Uh, we are at a, a cracking time where we are near 160 and we are slowly gaining to 200 subscribers. So uh, I'm hoping, I'm really hoping by the end of this year, by the 31st of December of 2022, we can actually hit 200 subscribers. That will be my goal for this year. See if we can hit 200 pretty quickly. So, uh, if you're new, do press that subscribe button to see if we can get to 200 and see more content. Oh, I think Trainton's just crashed. Oh well. It's Train Sim. 
what do you expect? Hey, we've got five likes so far on the video. So, um, yes. It's always nice to be coming back and streaming. Game and webcam. Hey, there we go. We're back. Hello, everyone. Now you see my face. <laughs> it's nice to be back. So. Right. Now we've done that. Everyone can see my game? Yes, you can. Awesome. We, again, using the trusted controller, which has helped me form my stream so far. Right, here we go. Uh, we are looking for the North Somerset Railway. So, right, let's have a look for North Somerset Railway, uh, Ivert, and... Yes, we do have two special locomotives. One I can confirm is Royal Scott, and another one is, well, I can't give it away. It's a surprise locomotive that I will currently do. Well, if you're allowed to do a stream with the guest, the other guest locomotive that's at one of the stations, please do leave me, uh, leave a comment down in the live stream or in the comment section below after the live stream to see what locomotive. I could be using for another live stream on the North Somerset Railway. Because it'd be really interesting to see which one it is. And uh, yeah, I can't do a reveal until um, let me know what it is. Or at least have a guess um, what sort of locomotive it is. Yeah. If you have an idea of what the locomotive could be, uh, please do leave your ideas down in the sort of live chat and I'll see what you guys think it is. Just a bit of a fun guess. Nothing. It's not a competition or anything, it's just for a little bit of fun. Just to see what you guys think it is. O on your opinion, really. Ah, oh, here we go. Uh, so, uh, yes, I have made a reskin. It's of Mallard. So today we'll be driving a. We'll be driving two Iverts. We'll be using the uh, this Ivert, which is lovely. Uh, four twelve ninety eight and four twelve fifty two, which are the two locomotives we're going to use for the stream. Which means we're going top and tail down to the end of the line, and then we're going to swap between the two locomotives to do two round trips. Uh, yes, I have made a reskin. It was a long time ago, though. So, let's get this train underway. Please the brakes. Make sure the points are all in line. 
there were no faulty points going over anything else today. go inside the cab and see what we've done. Well, all in reverse. Is the game too loud or is it just a perfect volume for everyone? Just quickly let me know because then I can adjust my volume while I'm at it. I think we've done a couple other reasons too, Zach. I can't remember which ones though. None did you what me neither. Um, I know we've done a few. I know that part. They take forever though. Uh, that is a warning to everyone who's um, not done reskinning and are planning to do reskinning. Reskinning is not fun. It, sorry, it is, but you, you have to kind of be patient with it. It takes a while and um, that's what I'm about to say about it really. It's fun, but prepared for it to take hours because one of my first reskins uh, took about three hours to do, I'd say, which was the Mallard reskin I did. Uh, okay. Are we off the points, yes we are, well we are very much off the points. The sound levels seem fine to me. Awesome. Just making sure no one's deaf through the whole uh, process of me live streaming this. Which I, I don't mean by anything. I'm just um, actually saying I don't want anyone to be deaf with the game volume being too loud. So, uh, right. Oh, we went quite far this time. Gotta love them. They are beautiful things. They're tough as well. It's really amazing. Especially when it comes to um, doing like 40 miles an hour. That's like the, the sort of best. That was not meant to happen. I should have gone slower. Uh, but yeah, um, so what I was saying is that I find when I'm doing more than 30 miles an hour, it sort of sound, it, it sounds really good as it's picking up speed and you happen to be chopping along this route. This route does allow me to do something like 40 miles an hour, so... But you'll find today that I will be sort of breaking the speed limit. <laughs> because I want to, because it's fun. Ah, uh, right. Let's get that underway and... Yeah, let's have a look.
but currently you're going to go at about 18 miles an hour just because of all the corners we've got along this route which is made by, let me have a look again uh, Golden Age Developments so uh, go and check that website out because there are some pretty cool stuff over there so do go and have a look uh, what they've got for uh, free routes you know. I'm just going to do a game for now because the, la the game just looks a little bit laggy. See if it helps without the um, webcam off. Hey, we've got eight people on the live uh, and six likes. Uh, thank you uh, for, ev for everyone who's taken that live button. It means a lot for me to know that you uh, actually enjoy my content. Okay, what oh, we passed another set of wagons. breaking as we go down the hill. Uh, steady. 21.4 miles uh, miles per hour which is good. There is one more thing I forgot to present, which I'll put in now. really just, bit, just quick enough and control V there we go that's everything now added So we entered our, I think, some final tunnel as we are going. Oh, hello, the hub station cats. So 
got the coaches up there for Royal Scott whenever that goes on to the stream. Ah, hello Joe, nice to see you in the chat this afternoon. Off. And afternoon, the hub station chat as well. Hope everyone is well. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Because I love speeding and just yeah, going fast. Yeah, so uh, why is that one got its regulator open? It's dark. But it's okay actually. Because we could do with a little bit of power. Oh, sorry to hear that, our power station cat. Um, right, let's sort these points out if you want to actually go out for the station. Yeah, I'll align it. And we go, all good. We are rapidly coming up to the end of the line, so uh, Royal Scott is at PD this we can take them part in the gala that there along with Bahamas. Oh yeah, uh, I've seen um, the Steam Sound Supreme video of it when it was being being shunted around on Thursday. guy on TikTok and uh, Instagram, yeah, he's quite, he's actually a good train spotter actually. Uh, right, we are coming up to Frame at Market Platform 2. Yes, and I'm good, thank you, Fraser Cottrell. How are you this afternoon? Yes, I am actually. It's I'm, I'm really looking forward to it, and I'm hoping that will come out really soon. Because from what I can see from Steam Sounds Supreme, that is going to be an amazing pack, and we get to have fun with some locomotives. So yeah, hope they come out by the Easter holidays. I'm really hoping. Can we can then drive 3803, which is currently uh, new relative to the Dartmouth Steam Railway, and then 3850, which belongs to the West Somerset Railway. So hopefully, once the 288400 loco uh, locomotive pack comes out, we can have fun with those. 
which might complete my Dartmouth Steam Railway Gala. I can kind of get them out in the next two or three weeks. That'll be really good. I know when the iBooks came on for pre-order, it wasn't actually too much longer than we had these uh, come out. So we can use them. It wasn't that long of a wait. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to do Yep, um, please do not put any nasty comments in the live chat. We're trying to be family friendly, uh, family friendly sort of a channel. So that means, um, sort of no rude words, please. And that, uh, that's just, um, yeah, I'm not thinking of me being horrible, but just that's just to do everyone I don't really like seeing horrible comments in live chat. This happens. Um, right, so, yeah. We are past the point, which is fine. We can then now pop it into pack one and get the other eyes to take us down to the end of the line, turn us around, and then we'll use this locomotive for round two. So Joe, what are you, um, are you looking forward to the Victory Works 2084 locomotive pack? So I saw, I'm, 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 I don't know who else is, but <laughs> they're going to be amazing. I knew about the other two. I uh, knew about 3283. I saw it down in Kingsbury this week on Thursday. And I saw that Linda Manor was being moved into the workshop, but I did not know that her Felicia was back being painted. Hopefully, for going in service soon. God, it's been forever since I've seen that locomotive. It's been, what, four years? Maybe fine. Okay. Well, funny enough, both these locomotives are blown off now. I am just, uh, and just because I will be able to drive a proper 3803 along the SDR and PDSR line. Ah, oh, that is exactly what I'm going to be doing. Uh, not along the SDR line, but mainly because I want to use paint and dark with the line. Really. Oh, this one has a good lossy. Right, let's get you in the way. Oh, Joe like Galway. Hello, how are you today? I have just put someone in timeout because they were using some rude words and I do not want to see that. Sorry I had to witness, uh, witness that, uh, Joe Light Railway. That shouldn't really be happening. So many apologies for it. Yeah, 
I hope everyone is well and doing good. It is actually quite unique because it's a little bit different to any of us I've actually seen. It's like more of a weathered version of a lake coming to each other with a bike, which makes it uh, like a used locomotive that has graffiti on because it's kind of old, which is the sort of style we are looking at, which is lovely, may I say. And it's about the perfect thing for shunting some wagons. I'm not too bad, thanks, Fraser. Uh, uh, sorry, Fraser. See if we can get a little bit of speed on now before we. Oh, actually, we do actually have that sort of 10 miles an hour to hit in a minute. So, um, gotta be careful. Yeah, we're coming close to Royal Scott. So yeah, would you like to see Royal Scott as a live stream on the North Somerset Railway? What do you guys think of that idea? Oh, we have 10 people watching on this live stream. Awesome. Welcome to everyone who's watching on this channel at the moment. Or oh, for people who've just tuned in. Hello. Nice to see you. Uh, oh, we have 11 people now. Awesome. It's raining outside. I've just looked. second everyone hey we've got 12 people watching what's it oh lovely oh 14 come on Hey, we've got 15. Nice. We've just had 15 people watching uh, the live stream. Which is cool. Downhill. Or flat, actually. So I can see what the gradient is. I think Royal Scott would be a cracking train to run. Yeah, it, it really would actually. I would love to do it as a live stream. Or just to give it a shot on me. Yes, 
outside because they get plenty of it really. Quite right, it's pouring down. <laughs> yeah, the dog and I are going to use it. Oh dear! Oops. me forgetting that I'm pressing it. So the sort of thing that we're using for the bike ends, locomotives. Only doing 22 miles per hour. Fourteen people watching. Awesome. I love how each locomotive has different whistles depending on the sort of reskin that Steam Sounds probably have done for the brand new Ivers. Like that black one I was driving earlier that had a normal whistle, this one's got a high pitched whistle. I, think. I don't know why.
Shed is our second guest locomotive that is on this railway, which I will not give away. So, what do you guys think is on this track? Have a guess. What do you guys think? Just a bit, again, it's not. It's no competition. It's just for a little bit of fun. I didn't give the locomotive away. because I'm missing one route but that's okay because um, hopefully I can fill that in soon We do actually have seven wagons and one brake van. RW Enhancer, which I will uh, use now, and then I've got Armstrong Powerhouse Enhancement Pack. Oh. Oh, sorry. Uh, so, I've got the RW Enhancer and the Armstrong Powerhouse um, Enhancement Pack. So if I get RW, RW Enhancer up now, I'll uh, link that down in the live chat. This is where you can find either. Okay, so. This is where you get the weather map as well. Okay. Just make sure I'm not speeding. And there's one more as well. I will enhance some packs if we go to there is one. And 
this one. There we go, those are the two things I use to kind of make the graphics look better for Train Simulator. And back on to driving. webcam as well i'll take a look at buying it soon well that might be an idea yeah it's really worth your money it's a, a cracking pack actually so uh worth buying and downloading uh, for both really and we're on we're coming up to our final stop in just a few minutes then we'll have a, a quick break, I think. Another really good looking station along the line. It's always good to hear. Oh yeah, I've got some more wagons over here, just in case I wanted to do any more shunting. And we've got nine wagons plus the brake van. Any locomotives in here? No. Well, that's okay. We leave none behind. Uh, where's the sun at? Over this side. That's okay. I think we'll do a little bit of thrashing actually. Because why not? Thrash time! Lovely. Going a bit fast? But Hey ho! Who doesn't love it? Um, okay. I believe we've got one locomotive down here. I'm trying to figure out which one I put down here now. Uh, I'm not sort of realising what I've done. We'll see. <laughs> right, we've got the green signal. Also, if you guys would like me to do any rail tours on main lines or heritage railways, also uh, please do uh, leave a comment in the live chat or in the comment section below after the live chat. Just say yes, you would like to see some, and if so, what would you guys like to see as a rail tour? So I'm happy to do some this year. Also, I've got two gal three galas planned for this year as well. One for next month, one for May, and one for October. So, the one for April will be the West Somerset Railway, which is the newer version from Steam Sound Supreme. The next one will be next gala on the Dartmouth Steam Railway, and the last one will be on the Churnitz Valley fictional railway the China Valley Railway but a bit of an add-on with it so um, two steam galas and one steam and diesel gala which is mixed traffic well not mixed traffic so mixed gala between the two the older well the kind of old age and the sort of new era mixing together right we are coming up to our last stop in just a minute then how long will be streaming for oh not too bad then we'll be streaming for just under an hour not too bad that should give us time to go uh, for one last round trip or not round trip one half trip I would say once we bring this one back we're just gonna go on to a quick break uh, what engines on the Spring Gala? 
or what theme? Um, we're going Great Western and BR because I have, well, I can't give anything away of what locomotives there are, but there are a mixture of GWR and BR locomotives. That's what I'm going to say. Um, oh, I'm in the wrong platform. Um, oops, that doesn't work. Get back, get back. <laughs> it has not worked. Oh, yes. I remember I've got a mana. <laughs> uh, we've got Fritwell Mana. Ooh, lovely. Got to love a mana. Especially in Great Western. Going backwards because we're in the wrong platform. Not such a good idea, but it's okay. We all make mistakes. <laughs> I should be in platform one, not platform two. Um, we have to go back up the hill. Oh dear. Oh well. Oh well. It happens to the best of us. Right. Oh, that's not a good idea. God, I do love this reskin. It does look so cool. God, I love it. A manor in Great Western colour. Hell oh, yeah! Why not? Doesn't mean it can't work. I've seen it in BR Black, I've seen it in BR Green, I haven't seen it in Great Western Green. This is the first one I've actually seen. Hey, we've got 16 people live, or oh, watching me live. Awesome. Okay, we'll just kind of release the brakes for now. What sort of theme would you guys like to see as a gala? Like anything really? So, Great Western BR, I think there's Southern stuff. So, uh, uh, what, yeah, what kind of things would you like to see for future galas that I could be doing? Oh, we've got 20 people uh, watching me live. So, okay, we are going to uncouple the locomotive and we'll go and refill by the water tank once we're back from break. So, uh, let's quickly do that and make sure this thing is actually quieting down a little bit. <laughs> it's quite loud. Nineteen people watching. Awesome. Actually, we'll pop it here for now. And thinking about it, we will 
do a water stop. Well, we'll refill water once we're back from break. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly put us on the interval. And I'll see you guys in about five or ten minutes. Just having a quick break. So uh, we'll be right back. And we are back. That was just a quick interval. Oops, sorry, that was a bit loud. Okay, so now we've done that. We are back. So whenever I take a break, I will probably just do it until a song or two have finished, which means it's going to be probably a maximum of five, six minutes. So break's never going to be too long. So. Let's get this locomotive underway once more. 
Ready for refilling with water. So if we go a little bit closer, can we get to the... Ah, oh, right, so the filling tanks are right here. So, that's what it's going to be. Oh. Oh, well, that's okay. How much water do we actually take with the Ivert? Oh, 1,350. That's fine, because we can get back on the move. Right, there we go. We'll do four, two and four, and then undo that. I think this time I plan to try and use a bit more uh, PSI, saying that we're blown off quite a bit, so uh, there might be a plan to use a bit more pressure than I would hoped to be using all the way down. That one in one hundred, so we'll just make sure we're past the points. Now past the points. Now. Oops, we are in the wrong position. Right, so um I'm just going to use, I think just the regulator because it's a little bit easier just to do that way. got the green signal which is good time for us to get going again on our journey There we go, we're back up to speed. Red signal and along the way we go. Oh finally, we're using a bit more pressure. By the way, I, w I want to know, uh, what are your thoughts on the brand new Ivert by Steam Sound Supreme? I personally think that I love the, the reskins, the whistles, the cab views, and the way they sound for chuffing wise. It's absolutely amazing, and I think they've done an amazing job with it. So, um, yeah, what are your thoughts on it so far? I think that's only been out for the last two months, almost three.
Yeah, we died. The sun's finally come out. <laughs> awesome. Oh, that's amazing. On the uh, sort of bottom left over here, I can see the, the rods moving, which is where the joint of the wheel is going uh, back and forwards, up and down. <clears throat> which is kind of cool, actually. Which is when you're in the position of being in the guard's van. And I love blowing that whistle a bit too much, I would I'd say. This uh, type of locomotive, or this reskin of the locomotive, can just about do under 50. Which is a good amount of speed. Oh, we should probably pop this into. We are indeed actually going in platform one. And as we are passing our second guest locomotive, what do you guys think it is? The O3. And back down the hill we go. Back down. The last part of the miles. Good. Oh, I may seem that I missed a link. I think I've missed putting uh, the Royal Scot in there, so... Um, Mm. I'll pop that in a minute. Do you guys think we should have a little bit of music as we are going down the hill? What do you guys think? 
music or are we just gonna kind of leave the music until the end of the stream? Uh, can you guys hear me? Hopefully you can, which is going to be a good thing. Right, I mean, we're going a little bit too slow. Right, so, uh, I think, you guys can tell me if you don't like this, but I'm just going to put a tiny bit of music on in the background, so it's not too loud, but just so we can enjoy the journey. Soft music. So this is the um, the song is called Mon uh, Monster Chill Lounge. Retro rock world free music. What uh, let me this is what I'm playing and that's in the live chat now. So there we go. That's the next one and we're doing fifty eight. Okay. Oh, and there are the Royal Scots coaches, not Royal Scott, well with the coaches, well the coaches for it really, so there we go and there's Royal Scott herself.
Whee! We go downhill. Oh, that's that's hilarious. Oh, that's gonna um, really crack me up. That what in fifty one? Good grief! Um, yeah, yeah. This is quite funny. What was it like a one and two? Oh, no wonder we're speeding up. Slowing down. Time to swap to the other locomotive. Actually, thinking about it, we might just pop um, the wagons back and. Or just really just put them as a double header. Picked up a header down to Royal Scott using both these locomotives. Actually, what do you guys think? Should we use top and tail or double header for the last part of the live stream? What do you guys think? Please do let me know now before we um, stop the locomotive. Or oh, stop the train, sorry. Gonna stop. Nicely done. That's all our wagons. And somehow that four twelve ninety eight is still blowing off. I think it's a little bit bugged out. There we go.
So, righto. What do you think? Should we use top and tail or do we go double header? Okay, my dad says, top and tail. See what other people think. By the way, thank you for 156 subscribers. Hopefully, we are, we are only four subscribers away from 160. Let's see if we can get to 160 subscribers. By the way, uh, thank you like for everyone who subscribed to the channel as I say we only need four more one for top and tail And one for double header. Oh, lovely. To be honest, I might go double header because it's more fun. Uh, which means I need this to be up front, which I need to go back forwards because I want the older version of the locomotive to go onto the wagons first. Gone onto the platform just to go off the platform to go back out. <laughs> That's kind of funny actually. <laughs> just thinking about it. Oh well, it means we get to do it over again. Here 
never go back here. Train. Stop. 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 Are you gonna stop? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Right. Get that done. Get that quickly sorted out. Ah, we're broken. Again. It's broken. Why do they keep breaking? Well, I've dis well, I've uncoupled it, which is good. Again, and do this, that, blow the whistles. Hey, we're back up to 13 people watching. Awesome. Just keep my webcam on for, for a little while now. Hello. <laughs> oh, yep, I just passed the points, which is good. Just before we hit the other locomotive. And, oh, that didn't work. Right, you're seeing this as well, aren't you guys? It's not me just imagining things. Um, that's really weird. Oh, that is weird. Somehow... The points are jammed. Maybe we'll just use one locomotive then. do this then. It's fine because we can adapt to the game. <coughs> bye bye Mr. Withered Locomotive. Oh, hello car. Oh, that's where they come from. Right, are you actually going to release the brakes? <gasps> yes you are. That's good. <laughs> That's weird. The points still seem to play up. Really strange. I'm gonna try one last thing. And try What's this. I'm just gonna try going into the carriage siding, uh, siding and then we'll see what's going on. Ok, 
Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go back and try to get... The points are still jammed! <laughs> That's so weird! Well, what's going on? Nope, oh, looks like we're going to have to resolve to one other thing. Pushing the co... Sorry, the wagons forward. Which is dangerous, but it's okay. Because we love dangerous. Why not? It's always fun when something goes wrong. No, it is actually because that means you get to try and figure out what sort of options you have to do it. So, um, yeah, it's quite good learning skills of how to adapt to something that's broken, which is, in my case, the points. It's fine. Sorry, did that locomotive just move? Or was that just me? I know. That's annoying. Shush. Ay ay ay. <laughs> Good grief. Done it. Phew. <laughs> that sounds lovely. Okay, they work. <laughs> I love a little bit of double header thrashing. Right. Oops, that was a little bit too close. It's fine, we'll just go back. Anyway, this is a bit of shunting because I'm to um, sort the locomotives out, so it's all it's all good. Right.
Not too loud. Good, good. And we are... Oh, good. Oh, no. That's wrong. That's... No. I forgot... I forgot to change the points. <laughs> No, it's not such a good thing. It's fine, we can sort that out really quickly and just go back. Right, we're going. As soon as we go over the points, then we'll. Right, there we go. Forwards. Mm -hmm. There we go! <laughs> We're back at it. Which is all. It's fine. I tell you what, from the detail I've seen from the North Somerset Railway, I absolutely love it. Without a doubt. Love the route. So, obviously, I've left a, uh, a link in the description for you guys to try it out for yourselves. around quite a lot. It's really bouncing here. Double the power? Maybe? Oh no! What's going on? Um, I think we're going to take it towards the engine shed now and just kind of wrap up things. Bouncing around like mad. Why? It makes no sense. Well, that's a bit smoother. Not really. No, 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 it's just got worse. Oh wait, that's gonna knock over really soon. No, okay, that's scary as anything. Okay, we're coming up to our uh, final stop. <laughs> I'm slightly worried this might just derail in a minute. It's all fine. It's all part of the plan.
through the platform we go. Hello Royal Scott again for the fourth and final time. This is where I've got to start worrying. Uh, uh, did you just open your regulator, Mr. Other Ivert Locomotive? Yeah, I did. That's not even me. I'm doing it by itself! Oh, I, I think that thing's haunted. It's dark in here. So as we are going through the tunnel, I'm going to say goodbye now. I've been streaming for a long time and I... So... This is where I'm saying goodbye. So thank you very much everyone for watching this stream. <laughs> Sorry for yelling a little bit. Yeah, thank you for watching uh, the stream uh, and I thank you for everyone for subscribing. We're at 156 subscribers, so thank you for watching. Please do subscribe to the channel. Also, click the notification bell to be notified on any new videos, live streams, or updates that to come very soon. And also, go and click that like button so I know you enjoy the content. Once again, thank you. All the links are down in the description, even to my social media, towards my Instagram and TikTok. Right, we're gonna... I reckon we're just gonna park it in one of the sidings. I just don't feel safe driving this thing anymore. <laughs> it's, um... It's like doing this. <laughs> So, I'm, I'm just worried that it's just going to derail in a minute, so... <laughs> just going to park it up. So why do I have to worry about it? Hey, there we go. <laughs> Who would have thought, looking at the wagons first, it's kind of strange. Send us around. Neutral and stop. Stopping. Nicely done. Double had a stop. Anyway, thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys in another stream and video. Goodbye. Nice to see everyone.